To come then to the generation of the commonwealth, it hath been shown how, through the ways and means used by Panurgus, to abase the nobility, <clears throat> and so to mend the flaw, which we have asserted to be incurable, in this kind of constitution, he suffered the balance to fall into the power of the people, and so broke the government. But the balance being in the people, the commonwealth, though they do not see it, is already in the nature of them. Cornua nota prius vitulo quam frontibus extant. There wanteth nothing else but time, which is slow and dangerous, or art, which would be more quick and secure, for the bringing those native arms, wherewithal they are found all ready to resist, they know not how, everything that opposeth them, unto such maturity as may fix them upon their own strength and bottom. But whereas this art is prudence, and that part is a prudence which regards the present work is nothing else but the skill of raising such superstructures of government as are natural to the known foundations. They never, they never mind the foundation, but through certain animosities wherewith by striving one against another they are infected, or th through certain freaks by which, not regarding the course of things, nor how they conduce unto their purpose, they are given to building in the air, come to be divided and subdivided, into endless parties and factions, both civil and ecclesiastical, which briefly to open, I shall first speak of the people in general, and then of their divisions. A people, saith Machiavel, that is corrupt, is not capable of a commonwealth, but in showing what a corrupt people is, he hath either involved himself or me, nor can I otherwise come out of the labyrinth than by saying that the balance altering a people as to the foregoing government must of necessity be corrupt, but corruption in this sense signifieth no more than that the corruption of one government as in natural bodies is the generation of another. Wherefore, if the balance alter from monarchy, the corruption of the people in this case is that which maketh them capable of, the com of a commonwealth. But whereas I am not ignorant that the corruption which he meaneth is in manners, this also is from the balance. From the balance, swaying from monarchical into popular, abateth the luxury of, a, of the nobility, and enriching the people, bringeth the government from a more private unto a more public interest, which coming nearer, as hath been shown unto justice and right reason. The people upon a like alteration is so far from such corruption of manners as, such, as should re render them incapable of a commonwealth, that of necessity they must thereby contract such reformation of manners as will bear no other kind of government. On the other side, where the balance changeth from popular to oligarchical or monarchical, the public interest with the reason and justice included in the same become more private Luxury is introduced in the place of temperance and servitude in, the, in that of freedom, which causeth such a corruption of manners, both in the nobility and the people, as by example of Rome in the time of, of the tri uh, triumvirs, is more at large discovered by the author to have been altogether incapable of a commonwealth. But the balance of Oceana, changing quite contrary to that of Rome, the manners of the people were not thereby corrupted, but on the contrary fitted for a commonwealth. For differences of opinion in a people not rightly informed of their balance, or division into parties, while there is not any common ligament of power sufficient to reconcile or hold them, is no sufficient proof or corruption in a people. Nevertheless, seeing this must needs be matter of scandal and danger, it is not it will not be amiss in showing what what were the parties to show what were their errors. The parties into which this, this nation was divided were temporal or spiritual, and the temporal parties were especially were especially to the one the royalists, the other the commonwealthmen. 
each of which asserted their different causes, either out of prudence or ignorance, out of the interest, the, the out of interest or conscience.